Hi, I'm Mr. R. I'll be seeing some of you for the first time pretty soon, and I'll be seeing all of you either in school or on Zoom in two weeks. This is the time of the summer when I was your age that I'd be freaking out if I didn't pick up my clarinet all summer. Try not to worry if this is the case for you. If you can, get out your instrument today or tomorrow. If you play a brass instrument, just try buzzing on the mouthpiece and getting a steady tone. If you play the flute, try to get the sounds out of the head joint by covering it and, uh, or uncovering it just to get a sound and a steady tone. If you play a double reed instrument, blow on the reed, which we call crowing. And if you play the clarinet or the saxophone, I hope you remember how to put the reed on the mouthpiece and just try to get a sound out of just the mouthpiece. Try to get, I know it's not going to sound good no matter who does it, but try to get a, a good sound. Now, I hope you remember how to put together your woodwind instruments. Brass players just stick the mouthpiece in. And for all string players and wind players, you should try to play a long tone. I like to pick the lowest note on the instrument or one of the lower notes so that it's not so hard. <laughs> Try to hold it as long as you can, bowing or blowing, and try to keep it steady. Then try to play the attack exercise, which is this. For the wind players, that's exercising the tonguing or articulation. For the string plays, it's, it's exercising the bowing hand. Next, try to play a scale and quarter notes. String players should play the D major scale. Wind players should play the contra B flat scale, slowly. And clarinet plays, if you're having trouble going over the break, you know, from A to B, don't worry about that right now. You can play the F major scale. And percussionists, try to play single strokes with a metronome on quarter notes, eighth notes, sixteenth notes, and try to do a roll. Pianists, just try to play scales as many as you know. That's all you need to do each day if you can for five, six minutes. You can do more if you want. Now, upcoming is a video I made a few days ago for you in room 218, the room that we will all be together in at some point. I was practicing an etude, which is a musical exercise or study, and I felt the need to connect with you all. Stay safe. Well, I'm in my music room where I teach, where I've been teaching for, this is my 30th year, and I just set up the room so that it is socially distanced so that all the students can be six feet apart. Anyway, I always practice before the students show up so that I get my practicing done. Uh, but still two weeks before the students are supposed to come. <laughs>